Eric, thanks for asking, how do we make our Zoom video sharper? Now, let me just uh, there's, let me just share a couple of tips and then I wanna get more clear on your situation. One is that, of course, the camera matters a lot. Uh, if you're using the default built-in camera on your laptop, uh, you could probably get a 50% upgrade in, in sharpness by getting, a, getting an external webcam. Um, you know, before the pandemic, I should say once the pandemic started, the webcam companies like doubled their price. It's really, I don't know if it's price gouging or if it's just supply and demand, uh, maybe a little bit of both, but the, the yeah, now it's now a webcam. I don't know what it is these days. Maybe the, the post, you now it's been three years since the pandemic. So hopefully the price has come down, but you might need to spend one to $200, you know, maybe 300 on a webcam, but I would, basically go with um go to i would go to amazon uh, search you know mac webcam or pc webcam for zoom or whatever um yeah you, you put in some of those words like zoom even um and and can go, i would just go with the amazon's choice because there's like a billion options and you'll just analysis paralysis and to, to be able to choose for oh this one this one has a few bad reviews no all of them have bad reviews all of them even the best ones have some, some bad reviews you can't help it. So you just go with Amazon's choice. Whatever the popular one is should be just fine. Ones with thousands of reviews and it's at least four stars, maybe four and a half stars, just fine. Just don't worry about the one or two star reviews. It's going to drive us nuts if you do that. So number one, webcam. Number two, um, internet speed does matter. Well, okay. Actually, number two, I would say is this. Make sure you're recording the Zoom call on your um, on your record locally rather than record to the cloud. I think that does make a difference. Now, those of you who might be a bit more sophisticated about this, please let me know, comment below. Do you see a difference when you record locally to your computer versus recording to the cloud? Because Zoom gives us those two options. So I always record locally with the logic that even if my internet during the video is a little unstable or a little bit less bandwidth, it doesn't matter because I'm recording the local... <laughs> Yeah, but I'm I'm, re I'm recording my video before they transmit it over the internet. You see what I mean? So record number two, record locally. Number three, um, uh, well, actually number three is kind of a silly, but not really silly. Make sure you wipe your webcam, um, because a lot of people just forget. Like sometimes they like mess with their webcam and don't realize they're putting a bunch of fingerprints on it or oil or whatever. So wiping the webcam actually sometimes makes a big difference. Number four lighting matters a lot. Okay, so let me give you an example. I'm gonna turn off this, this, this light I have. Yeah, it's not fuzzy. It's a little fuzzier, but obviously you could see how dramatically the lighting, the, the lighting makes a difference. So um, number five, there is a Zoom setting. If you go into your video settings on Zoom, uh, which I cannot show you right now, unfortunately, um, because we're on Zoom. I don't know if Zoom allows me to share Zoom. Let me go ahead and, and try this. Well, I'm, I'm going to read it to you. Basically, when you before you start recording, look below where it says stop video. Next to stop video, there's a little <laughs> arrow. Click on that and then go to, go to video settings. And basically... Um, check the box that says HD. So maybe that's that's it, right? Like a lot of people not aren't even recording in HD. Okay, it's like, whoa, really? That's an option? Yes, that's an option. Um, so check the HD box. And uh, the, the under my video, there are two check boxes. One says touch up my appearance. Now, I'm vain, so I do that. But let me let me tell me if it gets sharper or or or, or not. It's definitely got sharper. You see more wrinkles now, right? Sorry, you didn't know I was... I'm, I, I actually look pretty good for 94 years old, so it's not bad. But now I look only 78 years old. Much better, right? Okay. And then uh, adjust for low light is the other setting. I'm going to go ahead and check that and see what happens. It's brighter. But I don't know. Does it look better? I don't know. Um, you can tell me. So I'm off adjust low light, on adjust for low light, off. Okay, whatever. It's, it's slight, slight difference. And then um, what other settings? Uh, I'm going to go to advanced. And um, oh, optimize the quality of the video I send with denoise. 
Okay, that's checked, I think, by default. I'm going to uncheck that. That's under video settings and then under advanced. Optimize quality of the video I send with denoise, D-E-N-O-I-S-E. -E. Let me uncheck this. Okay, I don't see any difference locally. Maybe you see a difference. I don't see a difference locally. I'm going to check that back because I think it, it has to do with the video that's transmitted to the other side, to my participants, not when I'm recording locally uh, like I'm doing right now. And then use hardware acceleration for receiving video. Use hardware acceleration for sending video. Again, those are internet issues and not the local recording. So um, that's it. I think those are all the settings. Again, if those of you who have more experience with... Um, with with Zoom settings and video stuff, please go ahead and chat below and give us your give us your uh, your your suggestions as well. Okay, one more one more thing I'll say is that once you get a webcam or doesn't matter whether you get a webcam or not, there are webcam softwares on your computer. So on on the on the Mac, um, I used to use them actually for whatever reason. It started messing because I'm not I'm so impatient with software that I downloaded webcam softwares. I messed with it too much and it started it started making my my uh my image not as good. But if you if you're patient enough to download webcam software, which even works even with not having a webcam external webcam, even just on the default webcam that comes with your computer, the webcam software can adjust that stuff. So the webcam software can adjust sharpness, brightness, contrast. A bunch of other technical things that I don't know, you know, something called like white, white, whiteness or whatever. It's nothing racial, but um, so uh, try the webcam softwares. There's probably a couple of them for whatever computer you're using, and obviously pick the one that's well rated in the app store, and then um, mess around with it. If it's messing around with it too much, you might want to uninstall it and try to set it back to default or something like that. Uh, but I I decided to uninstall it because I was too impatient and I messed it up too much. So this, what you're seeing right now is, I think it's the default, whatever the default webcam setting that comes with Mac. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, looking forward to seeing any other comments below for how to increase video sharpness. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, sorry. Um, your, your computer's processing speed probably does make a difference as well. Uh, so, most computers within the last, if you bought it within the last seven years, it's probably just fine. But if it's more than seven years old, you could probably do better with the processing processor now. Okay. And then the last thing I'll say is um, we're just talking about Zoom videos, right? So when you, when you upload the Zoom video to different platforms, they will automatically compress. So YouTube automatically compresses your video. Now, if you get a, if you get a 4K uh, webcam, which I don't have, and again, I'm not tech savvy enough to know to, to know this. The, the, I'm not video tech savvy enough to know this stuff. Please, folks who know, comment below. If you get a 4K webcam, I'm not sure if you need to set up something in the Mac settings or something else to like record 4K. You might need to. Um, 4K is like beyond whatever the best is that we usually use. Um, I think there's a Zoom setting for 4K. You can look into that. Um, so that makes it like ultra sharp, like television, whatever television, like professional quality. I don't, I my videos might be too fuzzy for you. I don't know. Um, and uh, lastly, when you upload it to YouTube, it automatically compresses, lowers the quality of the video. Um, for, the view, for the typical viewer, most viewers don't realize they can change the quality of YouTube videos. You, maybe you don't even realize that. So let me let me just go to YouTube right now and show you. Um, let me go ahead and go back to my computer. And when you when you go to YouTube and you watch any video, you can change the quality of it. Same thing on Facebook. When you watch a Facebook video, you can change the quality of it. And most viewers don't know that. So I don't know. You can educate your your viewer on that, and they probably will be grateful. You make a you make a video on YouTube channel. Hey, did you know that you can change the quality of my videos? And they'll be like, oh, I didn't know that. And then they'll still, they'll, they'll thank you for it. But so let me go and show you both platforms here. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple things here on my screen. Okay, so this is a YouTube video. I uh, just randomly opened one. And then here on the bottom right, you can click on settings. This is for every YouTube video. And you can change the quality. 
and auto right now says uh auto says 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 1080 so i'm actually already watching the highest quality i think maybe i changed that somewhere in my youtube maybe once you change it it changes for the other ones i'm not sure um so folks who know this video tech stuff please comment below i could change it to a lower quality if i want to but right now i'm already on it look it says it, look it says 1080 right 1080p which is the highest quality that's available for this video if this person had recorded or had uploaded a 4k video i should be able to change it to 4k but that's not the case right now you could you could search 4k video right um 4k video and hopefully whatever we're we're watching here let's say this one uh 4k video right so let's let's take a look at this wow look look at look how sharp that is that's incredible isn't it right so this is this is the difference between 1080 and 4k this is like i'm like i'm there right but look you you change it um auto 14 oh i'm not see i'm not youtube doesn't want me loading 4k do you notice that so youtube automatically puts me at 10 1440 that's good enough but let's check out 4k and we're gonna get ready. You're gonna feel like you're gonna feel the wind on your face when you when you when you when you go there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Right. Like look at that. That is that is like I I I wanna reach out and grab some of those leaves, right? <laughs> okay. So that's YouTube. And then let's go to Facebook, right? Facebook, I just recorded this today. That's true. I wear the same shirt every day, so it doesn't matter if I said it was today or not. Okay, let me go to settings and go to quality. And because I would, this was a Facebook Live, so I think the the highest quality was a was a 720 for my webcam. But I'm sure if I got a 4K webcam, and if I knew, uh, if I messed around with the Facebook Live settings, I could probably make it 1080 or 4K even. So anyway, I hope that helps. I think that's enough. I look forward to seeing your comments below, especially those who have messed around with these kinds of things. Let us know your tips. Thanks.